first game we play is called Authors. If you'd like to all step forward, please. Each of the contestants has come along with an author in mind, and they're going to tell a story, each of them using their own chosen author. So, Lee, which author have you gone for? T.E. Lawrence. T.E. Lawrence. Yeah. Right, well, points already for avoiding D.H. Lawrence and <laughs> keeping away from Lady Chatterley. So, uh, so it's Lawrence of Arabia. Jan Ravens? Uh, the Duchess of York, who's recently written a children's book. Has she really? Oh, good. She's marvellous. <laughs> 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 Giving some extra publicity, so that's good of you. Uh, Tony. Uh, a package holiday brochure. <laughs> nice. Yes. yes. Always the academic subject for you, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, Mike. Uh, Joseph Wamba, a uh, hard bitten police novelist. All ah, right, yes. yes. Uh, read him. Seen his films. Uh, now, um, yes, we need a, a title for this story that they're going to tell. Can, can anyone think of one? <laughs> No, so uh, <laughs> it's a story with no title. Come along, I must, I must just press you on this. By the riverbank. By the riverbank. Can we put something by the riverbank? Give more of a plot to it. What was that, Mike? A dap by the riverbank. A dap? <laughs> a dap. A duck. A duck by the riverbank. Oh, right. It's a dap. It's, it's, it's a duck or a dab chick, I think he means. A dab chick, which is a type of duck. So a, a dab chick by the riverbank <laughs> meets, meets a speech therapist. So. Uh, <laughs> Okay. All right, that's the story. Dab chick by the riverbank. Meet the speech therapist. Away you go, Lee. It was the fourth day in the desert of Ala Akahara. Our camels were dead. We were walking with their carcasses on our backs. We walked for miles and miles and miles. In the distance, we heard flowing water. Ah, it must be the river Spleen, we all cried. <laughs> um, oh, God, it's really difficult trying to think of this thing. Um, <laughs> Down by this river thing, and it was out in the country, like any perfectly normal person would be, not in the town where you get all those sort of prells and scum and oaks and working class people. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we met this uh, dab chick called Jeremy. Um, <laughs> and Jeremy is wearing a purple and white spotty ribbon in his hair. Uh, like I do, it's a bit of in joke which nobody else will understand. But anyway, <laughs> me and Andy think it's funny. And fun is certainly one of the things you'll be having at the International <laughs> Dab Chick Hotel and Leisure Complex. <laughs> yes, look over those spreading river views with plenty of things to do in the evening as you dance the night away to the Organo Dickhead Chorus. The Organo Dickhead Chorus was playing loud and fast by the River Spleen. Detective Mallard from Precinct 12, the Wild Waterfowl Division, was sucking on a gin and tonic trying to drown his sorrows. He let in three crack dealing mallards go and he was going to catch hell in the detective's office next week. <laughs> detective Mallard grabbed me by the throat, took me to a corner and beat me severely. As the pain coursed through my body, I felt a kind of pleasure come over me. Uh, this is the same sort of pleasure that one feels when one learns to uh, ride helicopters, which, uh, you know, although one only really does to keep in with one's husband, uh, one really does love it. And, uh... Helicopter noise is one thing you won't be getting because <laughs> each room is fully double glazed with tea and coffee making facilities. Which came as a slight relief because the hangover he had the next morning was pounding against his head and making his beak bleed. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. That's another. That's a very good show. Uh... <laughs> this is um, very difficult to score, so I'll give X points to everybody and work it out later.